what we got is a chimney that the fellow was given several bids on tuck pointing. Which, God bless tuck point, you know, I'm a big advocate of going in and grinding out them joints. Thank you, but, uh, he kept, he sent me several pictures. You know, you see a little sheer damage. I mean, way little. It's just not enough to be circumstantial. The fl flues are in relative good condition. He was given a bid of 1200 10 uh, several different bids on to Tuck pointed out. There's only one spoiled brick and he's got the whole piece. These aren't uh, standard size. I mentioned that uh, let's just do away with the Tuck point. Why Tuck point the thing? It looks fine. It's mechanically strong. I'm buying for let's just take off the crown, replace that dummy flue. Even if you can leave the good flue set, the less beating and grinding you do on the stack, the longer it's going to last. I'm going to start taking apart the crown. Yeah, I get Dunny. Pretty sure. Get out all the old. Ew. <laughs> ah, <excuse me. laughs> uh, he thought he needed a tuck point because there's so much water at the base of the chimney. A 12 by 12 opening. I left the bucket out for three days over this last big rain. A five gallon bucket that was practically full of water after three days. So you can imagine the amount of water a 12 by 12 flue takes on. Bear these things in mind when you're looking over a chimney. Just because other guys are saying unless all tuck point doesn't mean that you got to follow the crew. Evaluate it on your own. Figure out what's best for the homeowner. And then go on from there. You don't want to be the lowest tuck pointer, you want to be the guy doing the best job for the situation. Chimney King, we'll check back on this pretty soon.